Hi, this is Chef J.D. Pendleton, and today we are going to be making my famous lime and coconut shrimp. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil to our pan. And we're also going to get about four to five quarts of water here on the boil. And this is for our pasta. Now I'm going to be using gluten-free pasta because I have celiac disease. But for my family, I also use this inexpensive spaghetti that I had on hand. And um, that way they don't have to eat. I got one daughter that won't eat gluten-free gluten foods just because it's in her head that it's gross. So, huh. and that's fine. We cater. We cater to the, to the whims of little children. Okay, and then here we're just going to get a slab of butter. Put that in as well. We're going to melt this down. And to this, we're just going to add some of this inexpensive chopped garlic. It's pre-chopped in olive oil. Okay, we're just going to give that a stir. And we're just going to simmer that for, well, we're going to bring it up to a simmer. We don't want to bring it up too quickly. We're going to keep this on a low heat. And I'm going to add some chopped onions as well. Well, about two tablespoons. So you can see that I'm barely simmering this. And I just want to cook these onions on a medium slow, very low heat really, almost a simmer, basically a simmer. And I just want to cook these until they're a little bit translucent, slightly caramelized. This sweetens them up just a little. Now next, I'm just going to take some of these real bacon bits. Just a few, not much. Just enough to give a little bit of a smoked flavor. There we go. Okay. Now for some color, I just added some chopped zucchini. Oh, about four or five slices will do it. You might want to throw these in first. They'll probably cook a little bit longer, but they'll also absorb your butter. And then just like mushrooms, they'll shrink down and sweat, and then they'll put moisture back into the pan. And so at that point, you want to add a little bit more butter and garlic for the shrimp. Okay, I'm just gonna salt this a little bit, and I'm gonna add some cracked black pepper. And my pepper, as you can see, has different colors. Those red ones have some heat to them. And that's perfect for this dish. Okay, I've just added another two or three tablespoons of butter. That's once my onions and my garlic are done here. Go ahead, I'm going to add my chopped zucchini. There we go. Give that a toss. Get the heat on low. And we're going to let that cook for, oh, about three or four minutes. Now I'm just going to add a pinch of hot red pepper flakes. Add another stir. And our zucchini is almost ready. Now just put the spaghetti on to boil. And we want to keep that rolling. And our zucchini is almost done. Well, I'm just adding some fresh shrimp. Well, in this case, it's frozen because you can't get fresh shrimp in landlocked Indiana very easily. But if I live by the sea, this would definitely be fresh shrimp. And give it a toss. And we're going to cook this for about two to three minutes or until this turns pink. You can add more garlic at this stage if you like. As you can see, within just 45 seconds, the shrimp is already turning from a gray, a light gray, to a pink color. And I'm still trying to get the temperature up. Okay, just continue to cook this until the shrimp is pink all the way through. Now at this stage, I'm just going to put on a little bit of this real lime or lemon powder. Mm, you can really smell that. Yum. Okay, you can see my shrimp are turning pink. Another couple of minutes and she'll be done. Now I've just made a roux out of a little bit of melted butter and some of my gluten-free flour, just cornstarch. That gives it a nice clear sauce. I'm just gonna make that a nice, slightly thickened sauce, kind of like you'd see for like egg drop soup. Maybe a little thicker. Okay, there we go. Turn our heat back down. I've 
tasted it, it needs a little bit more lime juice or lime powder. And I like garlic, so I went ahead and added a little more garlic to this. This is smelling absolutely heavenly. I wish I wish we had smell camera. <laughs> smell a vision. Because this smells absolutely heavenly. Okay, so this tastes pretty good just like it is. Has a little bit of heat to it. Got a nice garlicky flavor. Okay, I'm adding about a half a can of coconut milk. I decided to go for creamy, so and I'm just gonna use about Oh, just a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Kind of help thicken that up a bit. Keep tasting, keep seasoning. Mmm, it tastes so and good. Now I just added a little more salt. Felt like it needed it. And I added about, oh, two teaspoons of sugar just to kind of sweeten that coconut milk up a little bit. Here I'm adding about a tablespoon of sour cream. I also added about, oh, a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of cream cheese. Again, we're just thickening this up and we're just adding a little texture. The creaminess of this dish just speaks for itself either way. You can throw a little um, spinach into this if you'd like. A little more hot pepper flakes if you really want to add the heat. Really any herbs that you like. Some basil would be good in here, but, or cilantro, but we just, uh, since I wanted that uh, coconut uh, lime tasting, I stayed away from too many herbs. There we go. Now we're just going to add a little bit more root to this, thicken it up, and our sauce will be ready. Okay, now we're ready to plate this. Make sure we get some shrimp in there. There we go. go. More. And here you have it. Coconut shrimp. This is Chef Janie Pendleton for Gluten-Free Foods. Enjoy.